So my plan is to make like... Oh, shit. This video was made before Borat Petalin became rich and famous and turned into a complete bum pocket. Hey, I'm back. I'm back from Paris. Uh, look what I bought. It's a radio remote control to start my camera. Look at that. It's on and now it's off. And on again. Amazing, isn't it? I could do also focusing with this, but only when the camera is off. Uh, let me show you. Am I in focus? That's really, really a handy tool. It's from uh, Han Hanel Cap Capture Transmitter. I'll make a vlog about my settings and my workflow in uh, vlogging, but not today. In the last episode of Top Shit Photography... You remember I scanned it, but the scan didn't convince me. Um, it looked like the version one plus three diluted developer. It looked like unsharp, it, but it, that shouldn't. Be, you know, the camera was not shaken, and it should be actually sharper um, in theory, at least. So anyway, uh, my today's plan is to make a print, and of course, it has to be a big print. <laughs> Ilford multi-grade uh, resin coated format 50 by 60. I will cut it in half and I will make 20 by 60 centimeters um, enlargement. Only then, then we can actually analyze with, a, with the best tool, which is our eyes. <laughs> I'm using multi-grade developer and uh, two liters is not enough so I have to make another liter guys I really hate to tell you this it's actually the the fact that I am I have difficult to accept but mothers are right you know it's best to just clean the dishes right after it's finished okay, I'll be working on a Durst uh, Laborator 138 the, and uh, these are the negatives. Let's go to work. It's really difficult to, uh, to print uh, and explain and do the vlogging at the same time. I mean, you have seen my workflow. I will switch off my camera and I will devote myself to the final print. And then uh, when it will be finished, we will talk about, okay? I mean, what choice do you have? <laughs> Ciao! Okay, let's go. So this is now uh, general. I'm going to dodge here only the reflections and the shadows here. This will be quite a lot of dodging here. As, but you see, I'm doing it very selectively. So I'm not dodging like this, because this will be really ugly. You have to come close and uh, dodge it like this as I'm doing it. And change the direction, you know. I increased now it's like uh, contrast is 1.0 which is actually quite contrasty so actually if I'm dodging this the blacks will not be affected because it will still get to the almost maximum blacks well that's at least what I'm intending to so let's see what will happen for real 
Okay. And also, I'm going to burn in with the same contrast. I'm going to burn in the upper, upper part of the image, upper quarter of the image. And now we we are changing. I'm changing the filter. So I'm burning only this. I don't know if you see, guys. Uh, let me show you. Yeah, and I have to close this. Absolutely, I have to close this down. Okay, this is pretty good, actually. I'm turning it around because I want the flow of a developer to be equal. You don't have to do this, but I'm doing it. Just a little bit. Uh, and also this one. This is great. Okay, let's bring it out. Okay, guys, I, I developed uh, a couple of prints. This is from a film that was developed one plus three in the looted developer, and this one was in a stock solution. And it appears that this uh, in one plus three is actually sharper than this one, which is exactly what uh, Kodak uh, engineers and uh, are saying in the, in the books. Um, but you know, I'm not absolutely sure because this one is a little bit more contrasty than this one. And the enlargement is actually only 3.3. Yeah. So 20 cent from six centimeters to 20 centimeters. So it's not, it's not, uh, it's not that much. It, so the grain is barely visible. So my plan is, so my plan is to make like, oh shit. Like I will make a bigger enlargement. Let's see. Furthermore, instead of 210, I will put in high, inside 150 millimeter lens, so the blow up will be bigger. Okay, let's see how big can we blow it up. And uh, of course, let's turn off the this so it doesn't disturb us. Let's open it fully and let's go. Yeah, baby. I reckon the final exposure will be around, uh, what should we say, around 3 minutes, 5.6. But we are making a test, you know, and then we will see. Okay, guys, sorry to jump to, to the end of the film. <clears throat> but I printed really a lot, actually. Look how many tests I've made. But I printed really a lot, actually. I made really a lot of tests. Uh, <clears throat> this is the first one. And then test, 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 and final two. And from those two, we made one, two, three, four, five good prints. Five good prints. First of all, it's very important how to do how you do the the test. Are you gonna make like a like a step test, a test uh, horizontally or vertically. Vertically doesn't really matter because uh, the contrast here is the same, you know, like, and a plus this is the motive. But this one is very important because here you have very dark uh, motive and here you have very bright and here you have very bright. So that's why it's very important that, that this stripe is showing you uh, all, all the image. Um, so this one was like what? Uh, 30, 60, 180, uh, 240 seconds. But you see on this side it's totally uh, too bright. And three minutes here in the blacks is too much. But here, yeah, I made a print three minutes. Kind of okay, but not really. From this test, I made this print. I dodged it here, I dodged it there, you see? And I burn in here. And I burn in, yeah. I think I, I this one was a little bit, and I burn, of course, this one. I burn this one in. 
and most of the most of the printers that they do print today they like it like that you know so you have kind of qu quite low contrasty with details in a deep shadow and also in the high uh, highlights but actually for me this is better for me this is better and this one is better too you see a difference See, you still see some details here in the shadow, although it has a high contrast. And there too. Of course, you see it in the lower contrast more. This is lower contrast highlights. Higher contrast highlights. These are details in the bark. lower contrast and these are details in the bark in a higher contrast print Kodak D76 um, undiluted developer and this negative was developed in the Kodak D76 one plus three uh, developer one plus three diluted developer stock solution what do we see here here the contrast is quite different. The highlights are blown out. But we are gaining this contrast in highlights, which I really love. It's like my personal preference. Um, plus, there's one more thing. These are the blow up outs. And uh, st stock solution has a better tonality, has a better definition in highlights, but is also less sharper. The diluted, uh, diluted developer is much, much, much sharper. Okay, these are the scans of the, those prints. Uh, as you see, the difference is quite big if you blow it up really big. So the sharpness of diluted developer is really amazing, and uh, but you know it comes with the cost of losing the definition in highlights. Um, but you know I, I really like that. I really like that. Um, so you know it's very good to see it from close, isn't it? You may wonder why diluted uh, developer is less sharper than diluted developer. Okay, imagine that this surface here is a sheet of film, just like this or like that. And now the light hits, yeah? It hits here, it hits here. And where the light hits, uh, the silver halide crystals are being formed. Okay, so imagine uh, that Sodium sulfite is a solvent, which means it dilutes few grains of silver from here. And this silver is freely floating in the water. And while it's floating, it's actually then coming down and is actually filling up the gaps between the, the crystals. Yeah? How was that explanation? Was it clear enough? If not, let me explain a little bit more. Um, just like bricks, you know, like you can have like a brick by brick by brick, or you can have a, I don't know what's the word for Malta, but you know, basically uh, it, you have this filling between the bricks, yeah? So uh, sodium sulfate, if it's undiluted, it has a strength to dilute silver from, from, the, from the film and then, you know, that, that, that floating silver physically fills up the gaps between the grains. On the other hand, if you dilute it, this sodium sulfate loses its power to dissolve silver from film. So you will have a dot by dot by dot. So you have like a crystal of, of uh, silver and crystal of silver or crystal of silver. 
you will have no filling in between. Oh, one more met. I just remember one thing, one, one second. So here we have three liters of, um, of ID11 or Kodak D76 uh, developer. These two are clean because they were from the top, uh, decanted from the top, and this is actually a sediment. And you see this is actually really dirty. This has a lot of dissolved silver. And look at that. And let me stir it. See this? This is all silver that was diluted from film. Remember, this is already used uh, ID11 or D76. So this is the silver. So I hope you understand that now, yeah? So when the ID11 or Kodak D76 is not uh, diluted, uh, it will actually dissolve silver from the film and this floating silver that sediments in a, in a canister will be, will be behaving as, uh, as a floating silver that fill ups the, fills up the gaps between uh, grains of silver. Of the grains of silver on the film. And the uh, result is better tonality, better tonal range, but you know, less sharpness. Yeah, as you see, I'm very passionate into the film developing and into the films. Uh, you know, I developed my first film when I was in, in what, eight, 1985, when I was 11 years old. And since then, look at how many folders with films. If I'm not mistaken, these are slides. I was developing also slides. So what's the number here? 166. So usually this is around, each folder is around 100 to 150 rolls of film. By the way, those rolls that I showed at a demonstration, these are all undeveloped films. These are all exposed and undeveloped. I don't remember working so hard and um, because I didn't. I was playing around. I was fooling around. I mean, photography is like magic, you know? I was enjoying it. I was enjoying myself. And I hope you will do too, you know? And this vlog, it took so much work. And uh, I want to tell you that uh, for, for my future vlogs, I, I don't know if I will do it because it just takes so much work. I have to develop all this. Uh, when I was researching uh, for this vlog, I came up uh, to the to the recipe of uh, FX1 developer. Have you ever heard about X X FX1 developer? I didn't. Anyway, it's like a modern Sharp developer uh, invented in 1970s. Um, and because I love Sharp crisp images, um, you know, I, I thought I would give it a try. Plus, I, I, I found a vlog of Steve Sherman and he's talking about Pyrocat HD developer. So I'm planning to develop these babies in this, if I would like it. And concerning my, um, my previous vlog, my first part, I got some comments because I was uh, agitating so fast. Um, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a good comment. Um, but the history behind is that you see this, all these pr uh, films are developed uh, like that, you know, like ID11 or Kodak D76, uh, Dilution, Dilution 1 plus 3. Why? Because, and I was shaking it like, like a maniac, you know. Uh, uh, why? Uh, because it, it's, everything has its own reason. You have to remember developing is like cooking, you know. Somebody like prefers that, somebody prefers that. I, for instance, I had an old uh, enlarger which was had like this diffuser instead of condenser. Doesn't matter. Uh, it was giving me very soft uh, prints. Uh, I, I was printing with uh, four and five gradation, you know, only, and I, to get like a normal gradation. So, um, you know, what I did actually, I start to 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 agitate more. 
so because I was agitating more and I push the developing time for about 20 to 30 percent I don't remember exactly uh, and you know because that you know my negatives were more contrast here and then I was making perfect prints and I have I made a lot of books and you know about that with, with, with my prints I will show you I will show you later you know uh, now it's, this vlog is too long anyway but thank you for watching you know because to make this vlog I, I, I spent like more than 100 euros on it um, I will put this print on eBay and hopefully somebody will buy it for whatever price will be sold it will be let's say for 100 euros the next print is 50% uh, more expensive so um, so you know everybody's happy and the edition is 12 so and I print five I can easily miss one and you know if this this auction is already finished you know you can email me and uh, we can talk about it we, I can sell you another one everything is on sale except my kidneys officially Okay, um, enjoy the present moment and... Uh <laughs> oh, by the way, um, please don't subscribe, don't press like, don't comment, you know, I need an excuse to stop doing that, you know? I need a, I mean, I'm a photographer. I mean, I, I know all this stuff. <sighs> By the way, I have also workshops, um, but not photography, you know, how to lay and rest and sleep. This is my, my topic, so, you know, check my website.